Let's see. I uh, don't have my mic monitoring. That's good. Celtic Games, thanks for the follow while I was offline. Uh, you might have come over from Madame Mute, so that's good. Happy to have you here. Uh, let's get this game set up. Got my streamer juice for tonight. A little bit of Ultra Fiesta, because that is a flavor now. That's how that's how taste buds work, right? You can taste fiestas. I think. Oh, that peaked just then. I think I played with my mic, and I think in theory my sound will be of better quality than my sound has been in the past. But you guys will have to let me know. I'll probably bring it up a few more times this stream and ask you how it sounds. Uh, let's see, games. Oh, wait, what? Did something get messed up? Hmm. Select a game. I think my mods might have gotten messed up somehow. Search um, Skyrim. The game hasn't been automatically discovered. Oh, it lost it. Uh, okay, so this is in... Uh, Xbox games, select folder. I don't know how that happened. Zero active mods. Hmm, mods. Why did it disable everything? Enable. Okay, I've got to enable everything again. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Just let me uh, get this all fixed up and then we'll be we'll be off to it. I've just got to remember which ones, which mods I was not able to use because one of them wasn't playing nice. But for some reason, my mod installer just, like, lost Majestic Mountains. That must I think that was the one, because it was the mountains I was having problems with. So hopefully I can just enable everything else, and it will just work, because I did all this, this work before. Super annoying. But... It is what it is. I've been told that if I don't spend as much time fixing mods as I do playing the game, then I haven't really played Skyrim. So I want the whole experience. I want to do it. Uh, for anyone who may or may not be new, my mods are exclusively... Um... Oh, ba Bandit Brethren. Good to see ya. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, so I'm just... Something went wrong with my with my mod manager. So I'm just resetting all my mods in game. All the mods I'm playing with in Skyrim are aesthetic mods, just to try to make it look a little nice. So I'm gonna get those set up as usual. Yeah. Well, I've been told that if I don't spend as much time fixing mods as I do playing the game, then I haven't really played the game. Uh, so, you know, I want the whole experience. So that's what that's what we're going for. Okay, it seems happy now. Let's see if I go to dashboard and hit play in theory. Very true, yeah. How's your week been so far? Oh, I've got my audio coming through the wrong place. Pro streamer, love it. Um, I want this to go headphones. I wanna go play now. <clears throat> How's your week been so far, Bandit? 
it's been good. I'm on a short week this week, so that's pretty awesome. We've got, uh, I'm, a, I'm a school teacher, so we've got a long Easter weekend coming up. Uh, I've got a couple dinners and a lot of streaming is the plan. It's going to be fun. All right, let's uh, get you guys in here. And hopefully, I've been having some annoyances when I've been playing this game in particular, uh, where all my activity feeds and stuff get a bit messed up on stream, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Okojo, oh, internet connection is a bit spotty. Okay, good luck. Uh, let me know if the audio levels need to be adjusted at all. I was playing with my mic and stuff the other day. So in theory, things are going to be better than they have been. Uh, in theory, my voice is going to be more steady and the same volume no matter what I'm doing. But it also might be totally wrong. All right, so what were we doing? We just came back. Just came back to talk to the Greybeards. Let's go check out uh, quests. What were we doing? It seems things are worse than Delphine thought. Okay, so we just fought the second dragon with Delphine. And the dragons are being resurrected by what looked like that original dragon we found. Ah, uh, da 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 da. And then we went to get this horn from Jurgen. Jurgen the Windcaller. That was a pain in the booty. That was a long journey. Uh, and we've got this, and now we need to go... We need to go... Yeah, we need to go back to complete our training. So that's what we're trying to do right now. We're trying to complete our training. Let's do it. Uh, let's see. I want to I wanna put on my... My Warhammer, because that's the one I like the best. Hi, Hrothgar. Welcome. It's been hot out today. Sun's coming through hard through my window. Should almost just close it all the way. Okay, we're looking for... Aragnar or something like that. Looks like he's over this way someplace. Oh, down here. Hello. Talk to Agrinar. Aaron. You've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Wimkow. Yes. Well done. Thanks. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Oh, okay. You are ready to learn the final word. Oh, sorry. Picked your food there. Which means push. Push. Da. Hey, Astria, how's it going? Turn on walk mode so I can actually walk with this dude. We're going on a journey. We're going on a trip. Gonna learn the word da. So we can yell at the goats, apparently. <laughs> Dog. Dog. With all three words together, oh, there it is. Shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. Oh, I will. Let me add it. Mm, yeah, that's some good wisdom. Good knowledge right there. We would speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you are ready. Are they all gonna shout at me? Ah.
Me is true, is me, so as a broad, the man, the rock. You fucking. You have tasted the voice of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. Hi, Hrothgar is open. Wow. Well, that was easy. I thought that was going to be a whole to-do. I thought I was going to have to, like, jump through hoops and train a dog and all kinds of other stuff. Okay. Well, what's next, then? Quests. We've got Dragonborn. We found a note. Oh, we got to read the cultist note and figure out who sent them. I feel like that's important because, yeah. Yeah, these guys are looking for that woman. They're dicks, though. We don't want to help them. Because because they're dicks, basically. The Golden Claw. I can't remember where Lucian is. So, the dog is in Fallout 4. Oh, is that that's a thing you have to do in Fallout, is train a dog. Uh, and then we have to join one of the Imperials or the... Okay. I want to read this note. Let's see, Let's see who these cult, who sent these cultists, because they were kind of annoying. They got me in trouble. I had to pay a fine because I accidentally hit a guard when I was dealing with them. Board the vessel, the Northern Maiden, docked at Raven Rock. Take it to Windhelm, then begin your search. Kill the false dragonborn known as Alexis the Eel before she reaches the Soul Slime. Is the Soul Slime? Is the Solstheim where I am right now? Return with word of your success and Merak shall be most pleased. Also, how does my audio sound? I feel like I just saw my mic peak. I did a whole bunch of testing and stuff the other day and apparently it was all completely worthless. Um, Merak, Merak. Do I know who Merak is? M for map. Gonna check out the world. Oh, I don't want that. Everstead. Okay, so they took a boat to get to White Run. Solstheim is the uh, is an island, so to speak. Audio sounds good to you so far. Okay, thanks, Bandit. And meet Delphine is on my other next thing. Okay, well let's let's go meet Delphine. I think we can do the we can we can walk to Delphine. I think that'll be good. Let's do it. We're going on a journey, Lydia. Get your bags ready. We're gonna go see Delphine and figure out figure out what the heck is wrong with all these dragons waking up. Am I able to just kind of rock it down the hill? Or am I just going to fall damage to heck if I do that? Let's try it. Let's go uh, some off-roading. Because I don't really want to go down these stairs because they're going to put me on the wrong side of the mountain. So we're just going to... Just kind of go this way. Uh oh, this doesn't look this doesn't look safe at all. Come on, Lydia. It's Skyrim 50-50 if you fall or if it would teleport glitches. <laughs> I think we can make it at this rate. This is going pretty well so far, so. I know Lydia will make it. She'll make it through anything. What? My game just crashed. This is going well. Splendid. Uh, I guess we just launch it again. And see if that works truly playing Skyrim now. Yeah. Apparently so. <laughs> that, that might be the teleport glitch, yeah. 
hopefully it saved when I left that thing so I don't have to talk to all those people and get shouted at again. I didn't really appreciate them shouting at me. <sighs> oh man. Man, oh man. I'll show you my stream snacks today. I've got great value. Fizzy pops. Fizzy soda pops. I'll open those while uh while we're loading here. I wonder if I just like went somewhere that doesn't doesn't have bottles, so it just didn't know what to show me, maybe. Wow, those are really hard gummies. I guess that's what happens when you buy great value, though. Not a sponsor. In case that was unclear. Onward. To Delphine. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time this way. We're gonna see if if we can get down. And if it doesn't work, then uh, then we'll have to try something else. Okay. Uh, I think this is not where we went down last time. Oh, I'm stuck. Come on. There's an invisible wall there. Can I jump? Yes, I can jump. Hey, Kev, how you doing? We've only crashed once, and it only had to reset all my mods once. So this is already a great start. We are going back to uh, talk to Delphine. We're going to learn more about where all these dragons are coming back from. That's our goal tonight. And then uh, we'll just just see where see where the road takes us. Hmm. On the road again. Oh, that there was something there that was not actually there. Can't wait to get on the road again. This is working. Remarkably well. I even think this little township right here might be exactly where we're trying to go, right? Yeah, this is, this is where Delphine lives, right? I think it is. Okay, um, can we get, oh gosh, I am right in this rock. All right, down, right here. Where's Lydia? Lydia, you coming girl? Oh, made it. Lawless, perfect. Excellent. Go this way. Well, that is the way to solve the problem of mountains, is just to run down them. But Lydia didn't make it. I thought, I thought no question she would make it. We'll see if she shows up later. Maybe she's going the long way all the way around. It's going to be a while before she gets here, if that's the case. I believe in her, though. She's a she's a strong traveler. I don't think you were followed. Come on, I have a plan. Feindall thinks he can. Oh, there's Lydia. She made it. She's already mine. I keep telling him. Aren't you cocky? Oh, no! Oh, we gotta close the door, Lydia. Don't want people to see the secret room. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. No. Nope. That didn't take long. A long time, remember? While the Thalmor have been looking for me, I've been watching them. So what's the plan? The Thalmor ambassador, Elenwen, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. 
I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Ellen Wen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. Malborn. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Malborn. Any questions? The Winking Skeever, that sounds kind of sexual. But we're going to a party, so that's exciting. Um, how am I going to get into this party? Let me handle that. You'll have a real invitation, don't worry. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor toady, you'll get past the guards. Do, do they wear armor at this type of party? Because I only wear armor. Um, once I'm inside, what do I do? That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Huh. Then you'll Easy. Need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. Okay. So, meet Melbourne, go to the party, sneak out of the party. Read papers? All right. Don't worry about Melbourne. He's not a dangerous character. Oh, okay. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the ambassador's parties. Hmm. Okay. I'll see you there. Sounds good. Be careful. I probably won't be. Excellent. We already read this book last last session. Oh, can I can I map of dragon? Oh, I want that. Hold on, hold on. Can I look at that? Items. Books. Map. No. Miss. Where to go? I want to see the dragons on the map. And I want to go. I want to go find. Are they? Are they just put on my map? World map. Oh, it's in the mist. Uh, items. Mist. Map. Map. Ah. Cannot equip it. Oh, so I can't really look at it? Yeah. Okay, well, it's cool to have. It doesn't weigh anything, so that's fine. Ooh, can I take these? Yes, I can. Oh, there's just, like, weapons and stuff here. Are they good? I'll take that. Hopefully, hopefully Delphine doesn't mind any of this. Blade sword. Orcish great sword, steel sword. I still think the hammer is better than all of those. Ooh, gold, gold. Oh, I didn't mean to read this. What are we thinking? Do we want to read some books tonight? Let's leave this one because this one's easy to come back to. But let's get all these coins first. No, ah. it's weird. Sometimes you have to point like not at thing pick it up which is a bit annoying but i suppose it is what it is that's a big toe on top of there oh i just threw all that stuff everywhere okay well we've stolen enough of her crap we've got a we i feel like we need party clothes we got rooms and food drink too i cook ain't much else to tell oh huh. great I know you're lying, because I was just in the secret room, so, you know, there's that. Lydia, you've got an even bigger hammer than me. It's probably not as good as mine, though. Otherwise, I wouldn't have given it to you. Wouldn't have let you hold it. Um, okay, so let's see. We've got to go to... Solitude. Map. Solitude is... Oh, it's way up north, I think. 
Yeah, okay, we've got a long journey. We've never been to Morthal. I guess we could fast travel part of it, but I think... Stormcloak Camp, Ustengrav, Downstar. Let's run there. We can do it. We're pretty fast runner. Pretty brisk. Oh, how much stuff am I carrying? Do I need to sell some stuff? Yeah, I should try to get rid of some stuff. I think there is a blacksmith here. What do you need? Uh, I need you to buy my stuff. Good morning. Uh, good morning to you too. Oh no, I don't want to unlock your house. I'm sorry. Uh, you. Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. What do you got for sale? Protect yourself or deal some damage. Bit of this, bit of that, you know. Uh, let's see, do you have Blessed Iron Warhammer? Well, I already have that. Iron Arrow. Hmm. Dies within five seconds. If a target dies within five seconds, fills a soul gem. So if I kill something with that, I get a soul gem out of it? Is that what that means? Buy all those. Steel battle axe. Okay, here's what I don't understand. It says that the steel battle axe does 30 damage. And then... At the bottom, it says that I currently do 35 damage. And then it says plus 7. So I don't understand what the plus 7 means. Is this battle axe better than my steel warhammer that is right here? I've got a fine steel warhammer. Very useful if you're into enchantments, but that five second time limit's a bit short. Fills a soul gem in your inventory, okay. Mod that allows you to fast travel, but using carriages in real time. Oh, that sounds really cool. I would be super into that. But, okay. Is this Warhammer that I have, the Steel Warhammer with damage 35, weight 25, and value 46, better or worse than the this Steel Battle Axe that says it's 30 damage, weight, and value because I'm confused what this plus seven at the very bottom of my screen means where it says damage 35 in brackets plus seven because I at first I thought that plus was saying that's how much better it is than what I'm using right now 35 plus seven and the hammer I have is 35 plus 12 oh so what does the plus come from is that just like how nice of a... Oh wait, I wanted to sell him stuff. I really just don't want to be carrying all this stuff. It's not too sure how it works. Okay, fair enough. Imperial bow, orcish arrow. Oh, I really don't have that much to sell you. I'm wearing all of this. Day. Comparing it to the arrows I have equipped. Oh, maybe that's that would maybe make sense. Uh I want to trade. Um okay. I'll take this. I'll take that. I want you to keep this for me, Lydia. Don't lose that. Uh, this is your best bow, I think. I'll, why do you have a basket? Bear pelt, empty wine bottle, John. I've really given you lots of random crap. Okay. Oh, no. How can I serve you, my thane? See, I like when you're positive about our interactions, Lydia. Um. Okay, those are heavy. 
longbow. I'll take those. Cultist robes. Blacksmith apron. Take all this stuff. I'm going to be real heavy now. And Alvor, you're going to buy it all. Okay. Want to get rid of weapons first. We've got that. Uh, I'm going to keep the pickaxe because one day I might use it. Steel Warhammer. Sell that. Apparel. That. That. Is it worth me keeping these ingots or can I just get rid of them for now? Because they're kind of heavy. Well, I guess they're not that heavy, but... I'll just sell them on the yeah. I think I think I'll probably just sell them. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Can always make more. Okay, cool. Greetings, Sister Elf. Good to see a familiar face so far from home. Oh yeah, I'm an elf. You too. Good to meet you, buddy. I keep forgetting that I'm an elf in this game. Um, okay, we're trying to go mostly north. So, we gotta cross the bridge. I wonder if we can steal that horse that we've been stealing. Although we did get caught the last time. So that sucked. Fish. What's everybody else playing right now? Are you guys in, in the middle of any big games right now? Ah. Hyperbolica. What is Hyperbolica, Okojo? I've never heard of that. Sounds like... Sounds like a math game. It's an indie game. Okay, cool. I keep hearing what I feel like sounds like dragon wings. But it must not be. Been in development for years. Takes place in hyperbolic space. Interesting. Okay. See, you've seen that too, Bandit. Okay, cool. Maybe I'll have to take a look into that. I feel like I have no clue what is meant by hyperbolic space. But it sounds... In is it like a mind-bendy puzzle-type game? Is that what it is? It's a brain twister. Okay, yeah. So this carriage guy, you guys have talked about him. Not really puzzles, though. Okay. How do you work? Will you just take me all the way? Hold capitals. Let's see if where I'm going is a hold capital or not. Solitude. He'll take me there. Let's do this. This feels a little less cheaty than fast traveling. Climb and back and we'll be off. Climb in the back and we'll be off. Oh, okay. I already, I already did it. First time to solitude. Beautiful old city. Yeah, it is. Skyrim, but I'm sure you already. I did not know that. Thanks for telling me. That way, I won't feel like an idiot. Getting your brain twisted by constants and variables. Oof. That sucks. Unless you're into that kind of thing, then you know, teach their own, I guess. <clears throat> okay, we're here. Look at that. Mm -hmm. 
Catla's farm. Oh, what a cute little place. Oh, there's boats. I do really love the music in this game. It really does a good job trying to build a town in the creation kit, but kind of stumped on where to place what. Oh. Look at this boat. The horses, and the goats, and the chickens, ugh, and the garden. You're in the wrong place for all of those things, kid. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was lost in thought. This is where the boats are. So many details to look at. Have you heard? There's been another dragon attack. Time's to replace. Yeah, I was there, dude. I I sucked him up. Sucked up that dragon like nobody's business. Up, up, up the stairs we go. Where is the entrance to this place? I, I used the short method to get here and now I'm still completely lost. Okay. Oh, there it is. I went the wrong way. If you've come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Ricker. If not, just keep your nose clean while you're here. The you Legion. Like oh, the Legions are the Imperials. So this is the other place that... Do I have to join either of them? Or can I just be like Switzerland? Switzerland and Skyrim. A whole a free agent situation. You don't have to, but it's better if I do. Positions. Far you need oh. Home. Go home and Are you gonna kill this man? Right here? That man. Traitor! Get on with it! You should tell her that her uncle is scum and betrayed his Who? What did he do? Best she know now, Ethel. Hard. Rogvia, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. No, I didn't. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He there was no murder. Ulfric challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. This guy, he helped us. He saved us at the beginning, I think. When we had that first dragon interaction. On this day. I go to Sovngarde. I hope you enjoy it there. Oof. Gross. His head really rolled a long way. Some might say otherwise. The Civil War quest is a bit rushed and feels unfinished from what you've heard. Oh, interesting. Some gate guard you were. I wasn't a gate guard. Quit judging me. All right, let's go to the party. We still don't have clothes for the party. We need to find like fancy duds. Surely there's a way to do that. I like how every time we go through a door, we're just looking at Lydia's big old head. That's a mean head. Seems there's always more to be done. What do you need? You're my guy. Our mutual really? friend. You're who she picked? Well, come on. I hope she knows what she's doing. She does. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. 
the Thalmor takes security very seriously. Okay. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. Okay, I've got to give him items, and he's going to bring those. What things You're should I bring? Me? She promised that she was sending someone who knew what they were doing. Well, I... If you actually want to get out alive, I'd bring whatever you need to move quietly and kill quickly. Move quietly and kill quickly. So a big hammer, right? I don't know how to do stealth in this game. I've never done it. Um, so that makes it sound like I'm not going to be allowed to wear armor. I'm ready. Here's what I'll need. Okay, we're going to leave. We're going to leave him for now. And we're going to think about this now. Right now, in my items, I'm using my Steel Warhammer like all the time. Oh, arrows. Right? Kill quickly. But arrows don't really kill things quickly. I think if you'll let me, I'm going to bring a hammer and a bow. And then... Maybe I'll wear cultist clothes, because I apparently didn't sell those. To do stealth, just crouch and move slowly. Be very, very quiet like a hunting rabbit. I've never hunted rabbit before, though, Kev. I don't know how to do it. Um, Maybe that's what... Should we go hunt a rabbit? <laughs> So we know we're ready. Is there rabbits in this game that we can hunt? There surely is. Uh, steel cuff boots. Okay. Does the armor I'm is like does what I'm wearing affect my noise? Or if I wear heavy armor, will I still be quiet? That's what we need to know. Hmm. And this thing, cultist robes make my magicka go fast. So I could just, just uh, Emperor Palpatine them, right? That's how that works. Okay. Let's go tell him we're ready. Let's go tell him what we need. You ready yet? Oh yeah. Get back before I missed. Okay, I'm ready. Here's what I need. I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Oh, I haven't told you what I need yet. I need I don't want to give him my warhammer I want to keep it <gasps> should I buy a different warhammer I just sold a warhammer so that's a bit silly but I want oh, I think armor does play a small part I think armor weight affects how fast stamina drains and sprint, but that's about it. Okay, so not sure is the verdict. I'm going to err on the side of caution, and I'm going to bring the cultist armor, I think. I'm going to give him all of my steel arrows, because those should be quiet. I'm going to give him my bow. And I'm assuming I'm going to get to keep this stuff after the fact. So I'm going to give him my good Warhammer. And hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the booty. Give him my good Warhammer in apparel. Oh, wait, the cultists don't have any armor at all. That's not good. Should we just wear full armor? We'll blend in, I think. Oh, no. Cultist robes, cultist boots. It's quite a lot of armor. Armor 28, 12, 19. I'm going to bring all of it. Screw it. And we'll bring that to. All right. 
I'm naked now. Hey there, sex lady. I guess we need to find clothes before we can go to a party. Um, clothes, clothes. Find clothes. Oh, all right. Items, apparel. Where are my fine clothes? There they are. And a fine hat. Ah! No one would ever question our nobility now. We got fine clothes and a fine hat. Aha! Open. Into solitude we go. They're going to be so excited when we show up at the party. Dressed for success. We've got our quiver of arrows. <laughs> what was that? Oh, that's an eagle. I swear. Okay. Am I crazy? I keep hearing like... Like dragon noises or something. Armor weight also affects stealth. Well, we've already given them the heavy armor, so we're just going to have to go in and crash and bash, I think. I think that's what we've decided. But they're going to really... They're going to not suspect it because I've got such fine clothes going in. So, you know, we did one thing right. Let's see here. Where is this party? It's like... Way over... Meet Delphine? No, I'm not supposed to meet Delphine. I have to go to the party. Don't I? I mean, not really, but what do you need? Please, take pity on an old madman. What, what do you need? My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Ah. Uh... I don't know if I can help with that. Sounds like a domestic issue. Oh, you just don't understand. Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. All of oh. this empire shall fall into chaos. Are you secretly the master? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one is Monday. Pog quest? No, no. Such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. The hip bone. I have two hip bones. Pelagius's wing of the oh, Blue Palace. I just don't understand. Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. All of his empire shall fall into chaos. Is the Blue Palace where I'm going? Because I could definitely get there if I just had a hip bone. Hmm. Where? Okay. I am so lost. Hey! That's a cliff that I am apparently going down. Oh, I'm not wearing shoes. People are going to notice that and think I'm weird. Meet Delphine at the stables. I thought I was supposed to go to a party. Okay, let's go to the stables. To the stables. My feet must be very sore not having any shoes. I have to wonder. What does the Dragonborn do once he's been summoned by the grave? Uh, he takes his shoes off and runs barefoot in the village, obviously. Okay, bye! Is this the way? Oh my goodness, where am I? Okay, we can go down again. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. 
Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid. Good bandit raid. You gotta love them. When the bandits come in, that's when you know things are things are going well for your city. Hop, 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 hop. Into Skyrim we go, with no shoes and some fine clothes. We are ready for a party. Oh yeah, you can look around the models. Kev told me this last time, I was trying to figure out if I could like, see the other sides of them. I am a fearless warrior with my night cap and fine clothes. Oh, hello. The long go. Huh? Huh? Mm, right. Jewels, wares, and weapons. All for sale at fair prices. We're going to... Is this where the stables are? This is like boats. Are the stables at the docks? Oh no, they're that way. Yeah, I can definitely run a lot more when I don't have my heavy armor on. That's for sure. Here she is. Have you have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? I'm pretty sure it was the wrong gear, but I I I gave it to him. I have your invitation to the party. Oh, that's why we needed you. The only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Don't you yes. see my clothes? Put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest party of the clothes. Party clothes. Even better. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. All right. Let's put on our party clothes. You can't okay, okay. Yes, yes, I'm working on it. Apparel. Party boots. Party clothes. Those look almost the same as... Those are identical to my fine clothes. And she said I can't go looking like that. Do I have a party hat? No. I'll just keep this hat then. I guess that will have to do... You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Well, you ready to board the carriage to the embassy? I think she was calling me stupid just then. I'm ready. Keep the rest of my things safe. Yeah. Don't worry. It will all be waiting for you when you get back. Oh, it better be. I'm going to sure count up all my you arrows. Good luck. They took my hat away. Unrefined <laughs> is the correct term, yeah. Ah, fellow latecomer to Eleanor's little soiree. You know it. And arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you, my good lady. Oh. Well, thank you. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this god's forsaken mountain than any desire to actually arrive late. It was a maze. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any. Right. Well, good talk. I am late, so I'm gonna keep going. Not enough drinking in the world today. Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. Ah, yes. Here you go. Thank you, ma'am. Go right in. Oh. Now then, here's my invitation. I'll do that. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh, etc., etc. I'm just doing my duty, sir. Everything's in order. Welcome back, sir. I'd know that if it was meant for this party. Well, that guy seems rowdier than me, let's be honest. We're in. Infiltration complete. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim, and you are? Hi, Alan Wen. Uh, I'm Alexis the Eel. Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Yeah. Please, 
Tell me more about yourself. What brings you to this... to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the... Of course. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Thanks, Melbourne. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please I'm gonna hide from her. Hi, Melbourne. I'm here. Do you have the goods? What can I get for you? You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. How? Uh, I'm ready. Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. How am I going to do that? Okay. All right. Distraction. Everybody needs to be distracted. Take goblet. Well, I could harvest the snowberries. That would certainly surprise people. Oh, I am. I'd like a drink. Oh, well, thank you. Until next time. Yes. None of these people cares a whit about the religious aspects of this war. Another sign of the degeneracy of your empire. Okay, I got some fish and a drink. I don't know how to distract people because I don't even have any can't punch things. Can I knock over this pot? Eh. Eh. Nope. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm on duty. But there's a, a ruckus. Okay. Try something else. <gasps> this guy, this guy that was drinking. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around? Oh, I don't know. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Um. Here you go. Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. You're so if very welcome. Anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. I mean, there's a lot of people around, but there is something you can do for me. Wonderful. I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. Is that all? My friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Perfect. Stand back and behold my handiwork. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Attention, everyone! Could I, I have Ellen Wynn say she's me. going to open a bottle I have of the best firebrand wine later? We did it. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're going. We're going. Our mistress. We did it. Now that I think of it, I did hear some people out of interest in the middle of the night. Where's my stuff, man? So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close. In the larder. Got it? Got it. Following. Here comes, Malvern. You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? Yeah. In the kitchens? Yeah. You know this is against the rules. Well. Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Oh, shots fired. In that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Thank Don't you. Screw this up. Okay, I... I lock the door behind you or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Okay, I probably am going to screw this up, but you know what? We're going to do what we can do.
Let's go apparel. I want to equip, 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 equip. Now I'm going to equip that. I've got my steel arrows. Excellent. I think that we are ready for a quest. Come on. If someone misses me at the party, we're both dead. Well, go back to the party. Good luck. You see those robes You're on your own this now. morning. Who are they with? More of the emissary's treaty enforcers? No, they're high mages just in from Alinor. I guess over here. Uh Ah. Oh, that's a lot of fire. Okay. I need Warhammer. And we're going to bop them. Bop them like it's hot. Oh, okay, crap. These guys are strong. Uh, items. I'm not going to have any potions. Mm. Ah. I should have picked up more fish. Shoot. Mm. I definitely got the wrong armor. Welcome. I don't believe. I'm all the way back here. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim, and you are. No one important. Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, tell me more about yourself. What brings you to this... to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Okay. Do I have your permission to... Now I know... Red. If I get a bunch of this food, hopefully I can use it to heal myself. Sweet roll. Honey nut. Um, just a sec. Someone's someone's at my door. So I guess I'm going to BRB for a sec. Um, yeah. Going to just do a quick BRB. Sorry about that, guys.
All right. Sorry about that, guys. There was a uh, a minor medical emergency. Uh, Band-aids were needed, basically. We got it all sorted out now. Let's see, what were we doing? We were collecting all this food. So that way when we inevitably almost die. Oh, okay. I'll take the platter, why not? It's been a brutal winter. I can't remember the last time it was this cold for this long. All right. Let's go talk to our man now. Our distractor man. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Oh, I didn't get you a drink. My friend, you are very perceptive. I have these powerful thirst that cannot be slaked. And none of the waiters will bring me a drink. told to cut me up. Hmm. Afraid I'll cause another scene, I suppose. I need another so, drink. I got you, my man. There's nobody to hunt down the bandits. Travel has been I hope you're yourself. I am. Thanks, Alan Wynn. And words I hope you enjoy. Here you go, Miss Colovian Brandy. Thank you. At least Ulfric's men are willing to fight for their principles. At least a dozen. as they may be. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Just bitch and whine for a while, and then I bring you one. One generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. You're very welcome. If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Oh, I won't. Is the food and drink wonderful? I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. Is that all, my friend? You've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Good, good. Do it. Oh, I, I'm ready. Time for us to go, Elduin. Melvin, Melvin. Melbourne. What can I get for you? You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards. I'll open this door. They're distracted. Your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. We did it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Before okay. anyone notices us. Yeah. Most of you are already in bed with her. But again, I speak figuratively. Made it. Fine, fine. Get your hands off me. I'll be a good boy. Wouldn't want to offend our thalmor overlords, would we? Someone bring So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. I don't think they did. The kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking. Got it? Got it. Follow me. Doing it. Who comes, Malburn? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. You tell her. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. I couldn't agree with Okay, so if I need to lock the door behind you, or the If our theory is right, and I should not have brought the heavy armor, can I just not wear armor? And I won't lose, like, I won't be less stealthy because I'm carrying it. Do you know what I mean? Like, it only affects me if I wear it, right? That's what I'm hoping. Uh. Might notice something's wrong. Well, I did hear All right. I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Okay, do it. If I close this door on them, will they notice? Or will they just think? You're on your own now. Who are they with? More of the Emissary's treaty enforcers? No, they're high That worked. Just in from Alinor. 
I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we were supposed to defend this place from a dragon. If a dragon does show up, maybe we'll get lucky and it will eat the mages first. Might give us enough time to kill it. Those are worth a lot. I'd like to see those arrogant bastards taken down a notch. Always looking down their noses at us lowly foot sloggers. Let's put this on. And then they won't know. They'll be like, oh. You're... You're just, uh, just one of us. We don't mind that you're here. Don't, uh, don't come back to your rounds. Where are they? Uh, a sneaky, sneaky, sneaky person. You won't find me as long as I sneak around. Oh, he didn't come in here. Okay. When the, what's in the cupboard? Always take the gold. Okay. Open the door. Sir? Sir? Nope. Should we use magic on them? Let's use magic on them. Destruction. Sparks? Sparks and flames. Uh, let's try it. It's not working. It's not working. Got him. Nope. It didn't work. It didn't work at all. I forgot to save. I meant to do. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink? Uh, I meant to I do a quick you. save. I am Ellen Wynn, Okay. Falmore ambassador to Skyrim. Yes, and yes, I know, I know. I'm pleased to meet you. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, I'm and going to remember to do my quick save this time. Madam, tell me more about yourself. What brings you to this? <laughs> to Skyrim. What is it now, Gwen? I did see it's something just that we've interesting. run out of the Alto. Okay. There were Do I have your permission to uncork the Arenthia Red? I've told you before not to bother with such trifles. We are yes, going to remember to get the drink. I'm not going to bother with the food because if they, if they find me, I die. I'm just going to wear all my armor because that obviously didn't work not wearing it. Ellen Wen always throws quite a party. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? I've got one for you. Ah, the one generous soul amongst. If there's anything I can ever. You can do it right now, my man. I can begin to repay your generosity. Is do it. That all, my friend. You come to the right person. That's it. You that's all. Causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. I have heard that. Stand back and behold my handiwork. Okay. Now, we need to remember when we get to the room with the chest Listen, to save. Because this is becoming a really annoying thing to go through. Let's go. Let's go. Before anyone notices us. To Ellen Wynn, our mistress. What are you doing? I speak figuratively. Of course. Nothing could be more unlikely than someone would actually want her in their bed so far so good Although, let's hope nobody saw us slip out we need to pass through the but kitchen again, your gear is I hidden in the larder just course. stay close and let me do any Fine. talking Fine. got it get your hands Follow off me, me. got it good boy now. who comes wouldn't want to love. offend our thalmor you know i don't Lord like strange smells in my kitchen a guest feeling ill leave the poor wretch be a 
guest in the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. Okay. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. Get all my gear. I'm going to equip my armor. And that. I'm going to equip my bow for now. And I'm going to remember to quick save. If someone misses me at the party, we're both dead. Yeah, I'm gonna crouch. I couldn't have said it better myself. It's been some time since I've had news. Hurry it up. I better get back before I'm missed. Good luck. You're on your own now. Who are they with? More of the Emerson's treaty enforcers? No, they're high mages, just in from Alinor. I guess herself is finally getting worried. I want this stuff because it's worth a lot of money. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we were supposed to defend this place from a dragon. If a dragon does show up, maybe we'll get lucky and it will eat the mages first. Might give us enough time to kill it. Ha! I'd like to see those arrogant bastards taken down a notch. Always looking down their noses at us lowly foot sloggers. <laughs> we're gonna wait for them to go back. Well, we'd better get back to our Open the door. Shoot them. That's as far as I've got. Warhammer. Come on. No. Uh, I'm so bad at combat. What do I do? Can I sneak past them? Or do I have to kill them? Hurry it up. I've got to get back before I'm missed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But at least I saved this time, so at least now I can... Come on. Try some Someone things in fairly out. rapid succession. Party, we're both dead. But I've heard that the feud between the Grey Maze and the Battleborns in White Rock is going to I need to lock. Good luck. You those robes You're on your own. Now. Who are they with? More of the emissaries Never should have come here. Over here. Hey, what? Hey. Um. No, I'm dead again. This is it. Yeah. So don't stand up. If you stand up, they hear you. Got it. Let's go through here. Hurry it up. I've got to get back before I'm missed. Good luck. You're on your own now. Close the door. More of the emissaries' treaty enforcers? No, they're high mages, just in from Alinor. I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we were supposed to defend this place from a dragon. If a dragon does show up, maybe we'll get lucky and it will eat the mages first. Might give us enough time to kill it. Ha! I'd like to see those arrogant bastards taken down a notch. Always looking down their noses at us lowly foot sloggers. <laughs> well, we'd better get back to our rounds. I'm going to go into first person. I think that might make shooting a little easier. Is there somewhere to hide? Can I hide here? Am I hidden? I don't think I'm hidden. Where is he? Oh. He went there. No! I don't like you! 
Oh, I'm dead again. I'm so dead again. Uh, Warhammer. We gotta get up. Oh, it's so hard in first person. Hey, hey. No. Mm. This is not going my way. Okay, I want to go. Need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Good luck. See those robes You're on your own now. Who are they with? More of the emissaries' treaty enforcers? No, they're high mages, just in from Alinor. I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we've. What I want to do, I'm going to try putting on my Thalmor stuff. And I'm going to take all my weapons off. Oh, I'm still wearing a helmet. Arrow. Uh, this way. Hopefully I'm more sneaky. And I'm just going to try to totally sneak. Give us enough time to kill it. Ha! No attacking. No combat allowed. Just Always sneaking. Down their noses at us lowly foot sloggers. <laughs> well, we better get back to our rounds. Just a sneaky little sneak. Very, very quiet. I am sneaking dragon. Information. So you go there, and then you come back, and you don't see me because you're very blind. Then, hey, um, oh, goodness, no. So that time was even worse sneaking than last time. <gasps> oh! I have potions of invi invisibility. But I didn't bring them. I didn't give them to the guy. That would have been the way to do it. Potions of invisibility. We're just going to go in guns blaze. Steel Warhammer. I need to lock the door behind you. Good luck. You see those robes? You're on your own. You're dead. Almost got one. Got one. No. Okay. That's the way. We're just going to... We're just gonna go in, guns blazing, and we'll do a runaway, and we'll heal. That's. If someone misses me at the party. We're both dead. Warhammer. Take that out. Go in. Whoa! 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 What was that? Okay, uh, healing. Okay, Warhammer. Okay. Yeah. Got him. I want all this. Okay. Items. Apparel. 
Is this stuff good? This stuff is light and pretty decent armor, so I'm gonna wear this. Ah! Just chill. Everybody be quiet. I'll see you no, you won't. Don't worry about me. Just go back to your... Go back to your spells. You found me. Where is he? Got him. Boom. Ooh, that sounded like it hurt. Gold petty. Sure. Those are worth a lot. All right, guns blazing seems to be the way to go. So that's the way we're going to go. Although I am going to have to uh I am going to have to go rest in a room really quick. So, I'm going to put you guys on BRB and I will be back in just a moment. All right, we're back here. Go back to a uh, live scene, get the game back. Okay, so Crash and Bash seems to be the way. We're gonna do a quick save. Since that was a complete nightmare to get dealt with, but it's now dealt with. Let's see, are there any valuables around here? But is that all the guards? Did I just deal with them all? Let's see, let's go sneak mode for a minute. Are there more of them? Or is that everything? Seems like we're good. What's this book? Dwemer History and Culture. I'm gonna take it. We can read it another time. Seems like a bad time to sit and read a book. Since we're in the middle of a heist. Okay. No one in here. Regeneration potion. Soul gem. Another book. I like how I can just take the plate, but if I grab the juniper berries, then I'm stealing. That's where we draw the line, is juniper berries are theft. Plates are totally fine to be taken. Wait. Oh, that's the guy I just killed. 
isn't it? Open to Skyrim? No, I need to find information first. I need to find information about the dragons. Okay, come on. Where is... Oh, this is a bedroom. Wardrobe? These people have a lot of fine clothes. Immortal blood. That sounds cool. One day we're just gonna... I'm gonna start collecting books. One day we're just gonna do a stream where we just read Skyrim books. I don't wanna go to Skyrim. I'm not ready yet. I'm, I'm sure I was supposed to be doing something in here. Or worse than Delphine thought, dragons aren't just coming back to life, they're being resurrected by other dragons. Delphine just suspects the Thalmor might be bringing the dragons back. Her contact, Melbourne, smuggled some of the equipment. Now I need to search the ambassador's office. The ambassador's office. Cake and the diamond, take that. That'll be a good read. Skyrim, I don't want to go to Skyrim. I want to go to the ambassador's office. But I don't know where the office is. Is that it down there? I feel so lost. Or do I have to go out to Skyrim? Oh, unlock the door. Requires a key. Gotta find the key then. Oh wait, there was a book in here. Skyrim. I don't want to go to Skyrim. Do I need to go into Skyrim or do I need to just keep searching around in here? Okay, I know I have a magic. All clairvoyance. Show the path. This way. So I do need to go to Skyrim. Okay. This seems counterproductive to what we're trying to do. But clairvoyance said that's the way, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, hello, sir. Oh, I'm so dead. You have, an, like, an invisible magic sword. Oh my god, there's so many. Steel arrow. Hunting bow. Is that cool? I don't think so. Let's leave it. Okay, let's go uh, bow.
No, that's not working at all. I'm terrible with that. Yasting. Oh, you're a bot. Astria, if you're hanging out, can you uh, just ban Yasting for me? I'd appreciate that. Get him with the hammer. Got him. Uh, what are these guys even holding? They're just straight up magic swords. Thanks, Astria. I appreciate that. I think we're going to have a lot of that. Uh, and I should almost copy paste that message and add it to the auto mod. Thalmor Embassy. Oh, I think I'm in it. This is what I was supposed to get to. Crash and bash is clearly the way to do this quest. Or no. No, this is where I came out. Let's go back out. Who's fighting? I'm not fighting anyone. Oh, we gotta go in there. Okay. Elwyn Solar. Perfect. That money. I earned it. I have my own expenses, you know. Silence. Do not presume, Gissa. You are most useful, but do not presume. We have other informants who are less offensive. But no one else has brought you such valuable information, have they? Etienne, he's talked, hasn't he? He knows where that old man is you're looking for. He told me himself. You'll get... Taking the diamond. We, we already got one of those. We gotta take another. Confirm his story as agreed. So he has talked. I knew it. Everyone talks in the end. What was that? Now, I have work to do. Leave me to it if ever you want to see the rest of your payment. Can I... Oh, come on! Come on! Dude, you're supposed to be on my... Q, healing. Steel Warhammer, here we go. I was about to say how strong he was, but apparently not. Timber key. Slaughterfish, spell tome. Ring. Oh wait, dagger, that was cool. Elven dagger, value, that's good value. Steel sword. Rolls of paper. Out of lockpicks. Oh, right. Because, uh, right. Transition name. What's going on? Yeah, this game sometimes just like interacts with my OBS as well as the game. Which is very annoying. Fine clothes, gourd. Okay, I used the key. Perfect. It's always helpful when you find a key first. Got him. No problem. What was that? Oh, hello. I told you. I don't know anything else about it. What? 
who, what, what do you want then? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Come on, this way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. Fair enough. I damn well hope so. If it helps you twist them up, I'm glad to help. Yeah. They're after some old guy named Esburn. Something to do with dragons. I gathered it from listening to them talk when they thought I was out. I've seen a guy in Riften who they seem to think is him. Not much to go on. I don't even know where he lives or his name, but they seem pretty excited about it. That's it. Now, let's get out of here. No problem. Thanks for springing me. I owe you. Look me up in Riften if you make it out. I will. Listen up, spy. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Surrender immediately, or you both die. Never mind. Silence, I'm dead traitor. already. Move. Oh, Malburn. They're killing him. Where is he? Where's Malburn? Malburn! I want to save him. Oh no. Too late. He's got to be dead. Um. Get him. Get him. Get him. Dead. Where are you? Hey! It's not fair when you just come out of nowhere like that. Thanks, Astri. I appreciate that. Oh, I've got a whole bunch of them now. I'm supposed to just use it. I see. Okay, let's go. What's that? Uh, cross troll. Can I just shoot him? Oh, he's coming up here. Is he? Where is he coming? Where is he going? Oh, let's, uh, let's save. Quick save. Okay. Hop down. Let's go find him. Oh, that's a lot of damage, guy. Oh, wait. Uh, uh. No, tab. We gotta go magic. He is frost, so he won't like flames. And we run. We run to Skyrim. Yes! Okay. Recover my equipment. Where am I? Valmar Embassy, Solitude. Is Delphine all the way back at her house? Soul Sign. Is that where Delphine is? Oh no, here. 
and Solstein. I can't remember what that's for. That's probably for the cultists. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's for the cultists. Let's just fast travel, guys. Fast travel? Yeah, fast travel. I think that's the way to go. What should we do? Like, what... Do you just keep banning bots until eventually... Hopefully there's not too many. I guess that's sort of the only thing you can do. Let's see. Let's go talk to... Uh, Delphine. Our, oh my gosh, it's eight o'clock already here. Where, oh, she's gonna be down in her secret room, isn't she? Yeah. You made it out alive, at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Thank you. Did you learn anything useful? Thalmor knew nothing about the dragons. Or did I just... Oh, did I totally mess it up? Did I miss something? They didn't know anything. Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that. They're looking for Esbern, yeah. Esbern? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. Hmm. <laughs> What would the Thalmor want? You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esbern was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. Ironic, right? The old enemies assume that every calamity must be a plot by the other side. Even so, we've got to find Esbern before they do. He'll know how to stop the dragons if anybody does. Do they know where he is? Give me a mug of ale. I seem to think he's in Riften. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. I need some it's where I'd go. Hmm. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. Brynjolf. He's well connected. A good starting point, at least. Okay. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Mm. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. Okay. I just want to uh, see if I can get... I'm going to actually alt-tab out for a sec just to try to fix my OBS being weird. Excellent. I think I've got it now. Okay. So, move Lydia, please. Get out of my way. Thank you. Chest is empty. So Riften is way down here, right? Brynjolf. And the cultists are up in Solstein. And I'm still supposed to join... I feel like I don't like the Empire, so I feel like I want to join the Stormcloaks. Which are in... The city close to here, Riff Riverwood. Is that what it's called? Wit Windhelm, White Helm. Something like that. That's where the uh Oh, that's where the what are they called? The storm cloaks are. Which is I think the ones that I want to join. The Empire just seems like a bunch of dicks. They killed the guy that helped me. Uh I don't know.
I just want to be tree beard in this. Sides? I'm on nobody's side because nobody is on my side. That's my tree beard impression. So I hope you all enjoyed that. It's, uh, it's as good as they get, I know. I'm not ashamed of it. Um, let's see. It's 8 o'clock. I can go to Riften and talk to Brinjol. Brinjol. And he might be able to help me find... Okay, I'm going to go to Whiterun. I'm going to try to figure out how to join the Stormcloaks. Because I feel like that's the way to go. I feel like they're a lot nicer than the Imperials. So that's what we're going to try and do. This person is still here. Boo, Stormcloaks. That's a bad choice. Well, we're doing it. I don't like the Imperials. They're a bunch of dicks. And they killed my friend. I think this must be a mod. Like, oh, everyone I kill is just there forever. Which is kind of awesome. I love that no one picks them up. Um, How do I join them, though? They aren't down here, are they? Hall of the Dead? What is the Hall of the Dead? We're going to find out together. Oh. What is this? Steel Skull? Shrine of Arcae? Activate it? A blessing of Arcae added. All... Other blessings removed? You can join both. You Do you get something similar to Geralt romancing both Triss and Yen? I don't know. Hold on, what did this do? I just removed blessings. Is that bad? Did I have a blessing that was good that I wanted to keep? White run catacombs. Okay, I don't think I have a trip into the catacombs in me right now. I'm gonna try. I don't know, maybe we'll try to join both. We can just be like a totally playing both sides. But we're gonna start with the stone clo st storm cloaks. And we'll see if we can join both at some point. Is this. This looks like a place where. Where like. You know, official gatherings would happen and stuff. Yarskabar. Open the Yarskabar. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, man. He's giving you openings. Skjor. Tovar. Probably can for a while, but then I'll have to make a choice. Who are you? What is it? None of our business. There's no honor to be had in squabbling with dogs. Oh. So you're like not even you're just you guys don't even care at all. White run. Those guys weren't the stone cloaks. Can I, in my quest, that was the companions. I don't know what the companions are. Denovan. Like the fighter. Oh, it's a fighter's guild? Hmm. Join the Stormcloak Rebellion. How do I do it? Because this place had rebellion people. I'm almost... 
Ooh. Skyforge? Iron. Blacksmith's forge is used to create weapons and materials. Hmm. Huh. Bone Hawk Amulet? Wow. This is cool. Iron Shield. Iron War Axe. Battle Axe. Armorer's Challenge. Only forge certain types of weapon and armor here. Okay. Should we read this book? We haven't read a book today. Let's do it. The Armorer's Challenge. 300 years ago, when Katiria became Empress, the first and only Dunmer to rule all of Tamriel, she faced opposition from the Imperial Council. Even after she convinced them that she would be the best regent to rule the Empire, whilst her husband Pelagius sought treatment for his madness, there was still conflict, in particular from the Duke of Vengetto. Thane Milling Minglumire, who took a particular delight in exposing all the Empress's lack of practical knowledge. In this particular instance, Kataria and the Council were discussing their unrest in the Black Marsh and the massacre of Imperial troops outside the village of Harmonius. The sodden swampland and the sweltering climate, particularly in summertide, would endanger the troops as they wore their usual armor. I know a very clever armorer, said Kataria. His name is Hazadir, and our, an Argonian who knows the environments of our army will be facing. Knew him in Vivek, where he was a slave to the master armorer there, before he moved to the Imperial City as a freedman. We should have him design armor and weaponry for the campaign. Minglumire gave a short barking laugh. He wants a slave to design armor and weaponry for our troops. Cyril Asakis is the finest armorer in the Imperial City. Everyone knows that. See, Imperials are dicks. They just don't think anyone else can be anything. After much debate, it was finally decided to have both armorers contend for the commission. The council also elected two champions, equal power and prowess, Nandor Bered and Rathalas Yule, to battle using the arms and armaments of the real competitors in the struggle. Whichever champion won, the armor who supplied him would earn the Imperial Commission. It was decided that Bered would be outfitted by Hazadir and Yule by Sakis. The fight was scheduled to commence in seven days. Seriolus Sakis began work immediately. He would have preferred more time, but he recognized the nature of the test. The situation in Armanius was urgent. The Empire had to select their armorer quickly, and once selected, the preferred armorer had to act swiftly and produce his finest armor and weaponry for the Imperial Army. In the Black Marsh, it wasn't the just the best armorer they were looking for, it was the most efficient. And the Storm Clark's cloaks are morons that will result in Thalmor taking over Skyrim. Well, you know what? At least they're not a bunch of dicks. Sackis had only began steaming the half-inch strips of black virgin oak to bend into bands and the flanges of the armor joints where there was a knock at his door. His assistant Fandius ushered in the visitor. He was a tall reptilian of common markings, a dull green fringed hood, bright black eyes, and a dull brown cloak. It was Hazadir. Kataria's preferred armor. I wanted to wish you the best of luck. Is that ebony? It was indeed. Sackis had bought the finest quality ebony weave available in the Imperial City as soon as he heard, heard the competition and the, had begun, and the process of smelting it. Normally it was a six-month procedure, refining the ore, but he hoped that a massive convection oven stoked by white flames born of magicka would shorten the operation to three days. Sackis proudly pointed out the other advancements in his armory, the acidic lime pools to sharpen the blade, the dye katana to an unimaginable degree of sharpness, and the alcavari forge and tongs he would use to fold the ebony back and forth upon itself. Hazadir laughed. I for one welcome the Thalmor overlords. <laughs> Have you been to my armory? It's two tiny smoke-filled rooms. The front is the shop, the back is filled with broken armor. Some hammers and forge, that's it. That's your competition for the millions of gold pieces in the Imperial Commission. 
I'm sure the Empress has some reason to trust you to outfit her troops, said Sirius Sacco Sacus kindly. He, after all, had seen the shop and knew what Hazadir said was true. It was a pathetic workshop in the slums, fit only for the lowliest of adventurers to get their iron daggers and curiouses repaired. Sacchus had decided to make the best quality regardless of the inferiority of his rival. It was his way and how he became the best armor in the Imperial City. Out of kindness and more than a bit of pride, Sacchus showed Hazadir how, by contrast, things should be done in the real professional armory. The Argonian acted as an apprentice to Sacchus, helping him to refine the ebony ore and pound it and fold it when it cooled. Over the next several days, they worked together to create a beautiful dye katana with an edge honed sharp enough to trim a mosquito's eyebrows. Do mosquitoes have eyebrows? Enchanted with flames along its length by one of the imperial battle mages, as well as a suit of armor bound wood, leather, silver, and ebony to resist the winds of oblivion. On the day of the battle, Sacchus, Haz Hazadir, and Fandus finished polishing the armor and brought in Rathalus Yule for the fitting. Hazador left only then, realizing that Nandor Barade would be at his shop shortly to be outfitted. The two warriors met before the Empress. That one wouldn't. Oh, that mosquito wouldn't have eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I suppose you're not wrong there. The two warriors met before the Empress and the Imperial Council in the arena, which had been flooded slightly to simulate swampy conditions of the Black Marsh. From the moment Sacchus saw Yule in his suit of heavy ebony and blazing dye katana, and berate his collection of dusty rusted lizard scales and a spear from Hazdir's shop, he knew he would win, and he was right. The first blow was from the dye katana lodged in Berade's soft shield, as there was no metal trim to deflect it. Before Yule could pull his sword back, Berade let go of the now flaming shield still stuck on the sword and poked at the joints of Yule's ebony armor with his spear. Yule finally retrieved his sword from the rune sh shield, slashed and slashed at Berade, but his light armor was scaled and angled and attacks rolled off into the water, extinguishing the dye katana's flames. When Berade struck at Yule's feet, he fell in into the churned mud and was unable to move. The Empress, out of mercy, called a victor. Hazadir received the commission, and thanks to his knowledge of the Argonian battle tactics and weaponry, and how best to combat them, he designed implements of war that brought down the insurrection in the Armanias. Kataria won the respect of the council, and even grudgingly, that of the throne Minglumar. Sirolius Sacchus went to Morrowind to learn what Hazadir learned, and there was never heard from again. Huh. That's cool. So the the kind of crappy guy won the day. Go kind of crappy guy. That's what that's the moral of the story. Be the kind of crappy guy and you will win. How do I Okay, I don't know how to join the Stormcloaks. I might have to bail out on this on this mission. But I do want to do I feel like that would be a good place to end. And dragon. Maybe they're in here. Right? Because this guy, the Jarl, is a storm cloak, no? It seems our enemies have no end of spies, saboteurs, and assassins to send against us. Hmm. All right. I've got my eyes on you. Why? Looking to do some hunting, eh? Avoid Britishin Pass. It's southeast of here. The leader of the Stormcloaks killed the King of Skyrim using shouts in what was supposed to be a hand to hand duel. Hardly an honorable person. Stormcloak Riften. Oh, it's telling me which. Map updated. Map? World map. What did it update with? Hmm. 
map updated. White Run. Oh, but this says White Run is Imperial. Stormcloaks will be in Windhelm. Oh, I'm in completely the wrong place. Oh. Oh, I'm in Riverwood. No, I'm supposed to go to Riverwood. Okay. Let's... Hmm. Maybe let's just go get our stuff back. From, uh, what's her name? And then maybe we'll call it there for tonight. And we'll pick a side. Maybe next stream we'll join the Stormcloaks and see what's going on. I think I'm going to stream a lot this weekend, I'm hoping, because I have a full four-day weekend coming up. I'm hoping to stream definitely Saturday morning and more than likely all of Monday. Well, okay, fine. I'm not intending to cause trouble in Whiterun, thank you very much. I'm just intending to go and get my stuff back from the lady who I lent it to. I feel like maybe I need to do some side questing though, because my I, I feel like my items are not strong enough for some of the battles I'm having to do. Like I really struggled to beat those guards in the. Yeah, you gotta pick them up, man. I love that he just pointed out that there's just a body that's been on the floor for weeks and no one's done anything about it. Shouldn't leave things around or trip over. Yes. This city's going to shit. Just dead cultists everywhere. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's go get our stuff back. <laughs> There's no one around. Don't say anything, Lydia. We're off. All right. This is the horse that we steal for anyone who's not been with us before when we've stolen the horse. Most of the time we get away with it. Sometimes they catch us and that's a bit upsetting. Oh, get out of here. Oh my gosh, what's going on down there? There's little fire boys. Okay, hopefully they'll just ignore us. We can we can just run over the mountain here nice and quick. Don't engage the giants, because we know how well that goes when we when we get giants after us, it never really goes that well. I wonder if they caught us this time. Is there going to be, like, a guard come up to me when I get to the next city, like, last time? Because the guards will follow you for frickin' ever if they catch you stealing a horse. That's what I've learned. But it's always worth it to steal a horse. So much faster than walking. And I don't like to fast travel all the time. Trying to, like, find a balance between fast traveling and just and actually, you know, doing the journeys. Oh. Um, it's really windy up here. Okay, well, we're going we're going off. Whoa! Ouch. We're going off road. Okay. Da da la da 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 
da da da da da da da da off to see Delphine who is a drama queen wait where's the bridge yeah this is the right way there we go I found the bridge it's oh it's right down here Wait, oh, there it is. Wow, I am, like, very easily lost. It's no wonder I never know where I am. I'm probably going to be so heavy when I get all my stuff back. Oh, I didn't mean to jump. I wanted to get off. E. No? Uh, nope. Shut up. Ah, there we go. I just kind of had to hold E for a sec to get off. Thanks for hanging out with us, horse. Enjoy your journey back home. I love that they just go back home. They just, no matter how far you ride the horse away, just wander home. No problem. Um... Uh... Right, it's in here. I want it all. Oh, uh, R. Okay, yeah, now I'm probably super duper heavy. Yeah, I'm pretty darn heavy. Okay, so... Apparel. Right now I'm wearing light armor. Oh, the light armor is better than the imperial armor. Light gauntlets. Oh, okay. Let's do those ones. The boots have eight. Okay, those boots are better. Helmet has 14. That one's better. But the Elven Light Armor is really good. 29 armor. And it's super light. So we're going to keep wearing that armor. Oh yeah, and those are super destruction spells. Cost 12% less. Illusion spells, minor destruction. Okay, so let's, we're gonna have to do the sad walk of encumbrance here and get to the blacksmith and we can sell a bunch of armor and stuff. And then I think that's where we're gonna call it today. We'll see if there's someone for us to raid maybe because I think that would be fun, but I don't, currently have that many people that I'm following. So I might not have anyone who's live, which will mean that we won't do a raid, but that's okay. Uh, appreciate everyone who's been hanging out. Those of you who've been chatting and the lurkers all alike. I love all of you. Uh, probably going to be probably going to be a few days before before I stream again, I think, because tomorrow's Survivor Night, so that's date night for Wifey and I. Uh, we make pizza and watch the show. And then Thursday is my last day of the week of work. So I'll probably be back on Friday again. Probably gonna take Thursday off and relax. Maybe play some uh, offline games with, uh, with the wife. Where's my guy? I need to sell him things. Does it matter who I sell stuff to, or does everyone buy things for, like, about the same price? Can I Whatever you? you need. Buy you smear if it's simple and strong. You looking for a new blade? Uh... 
I want to. I want to sell from you. Do I have to wait for a certain time of the day? Probably have to wait for a certain time of the day, hey? Is it going daytime or is it going nighttime? Carrying too much to be able to run. I know that. I'm trying to sell it. Items. Yeah, I'm really heavy. I guess I could just give it all to Lydia. <laughs> and we could sell it next time. But I would rather just get it done so I don't... Because I'm definitely, like, every single time I forget to sell stuff. Is there anyone around? Can I steal this and sell it back to them? Oh, there he is. He's coming. He's ready. It's business hours. Iron and steel. What have you got for sale, sir? All right. Weapons. I've got this fancy dagger. Which... I'll just sell. I want to keep this. This is super good in like crypts and stuff. Those don't weigh anything, so I might as well keep them. Pickaxe. Yeah, screw it. Take that. Steel daggers. Steel mace. Steel war axe. Apparel. Got a shield I don't use because I'm a two handed boy. I've got boots. You can take one of those. You can take both of those. Take both of those. You can take that. And I want to keep my lock picks. Is that enough sold? Haha, -ha, I can run again. Okay. Well, I think. Oh, what? Where did that come from? Steel. This is just in the street. This doesn't belong to anybody. You tell me I'm stealing if I pick it up? Fine. Okay. I'm gonna go system. Quick save. I think that's gonna be me for tonight. I think I'm gonna go... Oh. Uh, quit. To desktop. Yes. We're gonna go... To this mode for just chatting. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Um, I don't know. We can see if there's anyone online to do a quick raid if there is. But I don't think I have anyone online. So that's probably going to be just the end. Oh, no. Okay, let's see. This person won't know who I am at all, but you guys will know who they are. Let's go to video producer stream manager. Let's raid a channel. We're going to raid Jay's two cents. They're playing Phasmophobia. Uh, start raid. And getting ready to raid in five seconds, apparently. This is my first raid ever, so I actually don't know how this works at all. Raid now. Did we do it? Here's PvP Phasma. I think we did it, but I can't uh, see his stream.
All right, guys, if you are still watching me, I'm going to stop my stream now. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you later. This was super fun.